Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Entertain House. In this video, I'm going to be doing my predictions, the final ones for the year, for the regular and the finals, wherever test matches will. Uh, I'll have some predictions out. I think they're in uh, November. But this is the grand final between the Roosters and the Raiders. Let's get into my predictions for the grand final. So you need both teams at full strength, and that's what they've done this week. There's one thing for the Roosters for me that I'm a little bit disappointed with. While I look at this, this list, in Jersey 20 is Jake Friend. Now, if Jake Friend, if he's well enough, in my opinion, should be in position for Sam Verrill. Sam Verrills has played great all year in the position for Jake Friend, but this is a grand final. And the Roosters had that experience with Kronk and Brett Morris, players like that. But I just feel like they're going to need Jake Friend, sorry, in their most important game of the year. Ryan Hall is named in Jersey 21, so I don't think he'll play. He hasn't had a lot of time to adjust to the Roosters yet. But let's go through the 1-17. to It's grand final. Starting at fullback, you've got James Tedesco. Great game last week. Daniel Tupo in number two. For me, the best man on field in the Roosters and Storm clash. Latrell Mitchell, he's been a bit quiet. I expect him to go off last week. Hasn't happened yet. Number four, Joseph Manu. Supreme four more year. Watch him out for a try. Brett Morris in number five. Been a little bit quiet, but really good defensively. Number six, Luke Keary. Look, I spoke about it last night. It hates, I hate to say it, but I think he should miss the game. There needs to be consistency in the game. He pulled someone's hair out. He then high-tackled him. It's not fair that some get let off. I love Luke Keary, big fan, but oh, that's it. Cooper Cronk, his final game of NRL um, in the number seven jersey. He He's going to have a big one. He really is going to have a big one. Last year in the grand final, he played with a broken arm. I'm expecting big things from Cooper Cronk in this match. Jay Everywhere Hargraves returns for the side in the Ford pack. Uh, Sam Verrill's in jersey nine. Isaac Liu in Jersey 10. Boyd Cordner in Jersey 11. Mitchell Orbison, lots of experience there in Jersey 12. At lock, Victor Radley. On the bench, they've got Angus Crichton, Zane Tedavano, Nat Butcher, who's been in good form, and Takiyaho, who has been supreme. And I already read the reserves. As for the Raiders, uh, in is... Well, all their ins, they've got a full team, it looks like. All their ins are on the reserves. So Sebastian Chris in Jersey 21, and Sam Williams in Jersey 18, and then Harvey in Jersey 20, along with, I think he's an Englishman, Ryan Sutton in Jersey 19. You've got Sean's Nickel Clockstad at the back, who has been one of the buyers of the year for me. Nick Kotrick on the wing. Jared Croker, who has been one of the most informed players, in my opinion, in the centres. Joey Leilua in jersey number four. Uh, Jordan Rapana, who's been a bit quiet. Jack Whiten, who was amazing last week. When he runs the ball, he looks dangerous. Aiden Caesar up against Cooper Cronk. It is a big ask for Aiden Caesar. He was off last week. I expect him to respond in this match, especially with it being the grand final. Josh Papali, amazing form against Maria Hargraves. Looking forward to that clash. Hodson, he came down with a virus, but I think it's all a bunch of rubbish. I think he'll be there on the field. Isaiah Soliola, John Bateman. Bateman all year has been outstanding. Oh, he's up there for me with Dally M votes. Look, he won't be the Dally M, but he could come within the top 10, I, I think. Elliot Whitehead in Jersey 12. A lot of experience there for the Raiders. Joe Tarpany at lock, and their bench is Bailey Simonson, Emre Gula, uh, Corey Horsbra, and uh, Dynamis Louie. Dynamis Louie is an okay player. I feel like he drops the ball a lot. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see how he goes. Look, this game is going to go two ways, in my opinion. The Roosters are either going to win it big. I don't see the Roosters winning this little, if they are to win. Or the Raiders are going to win this by one to six points. That is my my big opinion. And it's an incredibly hard game for me to tip. Now, I'm I'm a Parramatta fan if this is your first video. But I think 
I'm going to tip the Raiders. Now, the Roosters will be the first team to go back-to-back -back since the Broncos in the 1990s if they do go on to win this game. And on paper, you look at these two sides, they're both a great matchup, but the Roosters have a little bit more experience with grand final, especially with 2018, whereas the Raiders have not played in a grand final in 25 years. But they've had the defense, best defense all year, keeping some teams to zero. And in my opinion, they've probably been the best team beating the Melbourne Storm twice. And the other thing is that's important, last time the Raiders were in a grand final, not only did they make it, they won it. And that gives me a little bit of confidence. So for mine, I'm going to tip the Raiders by two points. I'm going to tip them 22 points to 20. I think there will be quite a few points thrown around. I know that both of these teams have great defence, but I see a few tries being let in. I think it's going to be a gripping grand final. So Raiders for me, 22 to 20. However, if the Roosters can get a good start, Look, I think the Roosters can run away with it. Some people are saying they could keep the Raiders to nil. But I've got here the Roosters 30 to 16. I think if they're going to win it, it's going to be a 13 plus. But I see the Raiders having a few points in them. See over 40 points easily scored in the match. So for mine, I'm tipping the Raiders to win 22 points to 20. I'll be wearing a Raiders shirt. I'll be behind the Raiders supporters cheering them on. Hopefully I can meet some of the players. But... As I said, if the Roosters can get a good start with all that experience, I'm going to go with them 30-16. to 16. But I'm going with my heart here, and I think the Raiders can get it, and no team will go back-to-back -back just to prove that stat. History will be made on Sunday night. I'm looking forward to it. What's your tip? Let's get into my best bets. If the Roosters are to win this off to a big start, uh, off that experience, look, I'm going to go Roosters 13+. plus. Brett Morris, experienced on the wing, anytime try scorer. He's been good for them this year. Um, he got a hat trick against the Titans. He's been a little bit quiet. As I said, defensively, I thought he's been really good. I see the Raiders getting some points, so we'll go with the Raiders over 12 and a half. And Bailey Simonson coming off the bench for the Raiders. Look, if the Roosters are scoring all these points, I think they can give him some ball to that left edge and he might cross over. That's paying $83. That's not a bad price for the Roosters if you want to back them. If you're with me and you're on the Raiders, this is my bestie for the bet, the bestie for the week. Uh, Raiders 22-20 was my tip. So Raiders 1-12. If you're going to back the Raiders 13+, plus, it's a massive ask. If they're going to win this game, it's going to be 1-12 to points in my opinion. This could be a really low defensive game, but I'm going the opposite. So Raiders 1-12. Joseph Manu, he's been in supreme form. I'm backing Joseph Manu. It's a big call for the first try scorer, but for this multi, I want you to back him at any time just to be safe. Second half, I'm expecting plenty of points. It's going to be the highest scoring half. And the last one, when am I roughy for the year? I'm going to back Sean's Nickel Clockstad for not only a try, but we're going to leave him for the first half and we're going to say he's going to score a try in the second half. Could even be a match winning try. $226 there, not a bad price. My second page, the Ruffies. Look, I like Elliot Whitehead. Elliot Whitehead paying $7.50. That is not a bad price for an anytime try scorer. I'm going to put him there. And I'm going to put another Ruffie at $6.50. His experience, he knows how to run the ball. Mitchell Orbison. He's played really well lately. And the massive Ruffie for the week, it's, it's a big one. The Roosters to lead at halftime by five to eight points. I see them with a six-point lead. But the Raiders to win away one to four, that is paying $56. Not a bad price there at all. Now, obviously, at the end of the grand final, you have the Clive Churchill medal, basically the best and fairest player on the field. There are four predictions for mine, and it's up to you who you want to go with. Now, I'm going to do these in order. The first is Sean's Nickel Klockstad. I think he has been an outstanding player all year. I think he turns up, he plays his best game all year. It's hard to predict these things. The second best bet for me is Cooper Cronk. Cooper Cronk in his final game of NRL to get the Clive Churchill medal will be a great send off, especially with the Roosters getting the Premiership. 
Josh Papali. Josh Papali has been the leader of the Ford Pack for the Raiders. He scored some amazing drive. He was great last week. If he can back it up, he can win the Clive Churchill. That's at $15. And you can't forget to include the favourite, James Tedesco. If he turns up, scores a try, and the Roosters win, there's no doubt he won't win it. He's a bit of a short price favourite, though, at $4.50. And lastly, guys, this week, the Dally M. I was going to do predictions, but we'll wait and see if I do them. I think it's tomorrow night, actually. It's very soon, maybe Thursday. My Dally M trifecta, look, it is the favourite, but I think it's the most obvious. James Tedesco, Cameron Smith, and Mitchell Moses at $3. Look, guys, they're my predictions for the grand final. I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos all year long. I will be doing a vlog at the grand final. Roosters, Raiders, two great teams in form all year. Second versus fourth. It's going to be a great clash. Let me know if you're going. Um, I'll be doing a Q&A later in the week, so if you want to leave a question, leave it in the comments. Look, I'm expecting a massive final game from Cooper Cronk and a big one from Sean's Nickel Clockstad in regards to the match. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do leave your tips in the comments. Leave your first try scorer, your multis. Leave it all. Hit subscribe. I'm loving the support on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.